everyone, this is Cody Jackson for Codamom, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you uh, how I have my computer environment set up, and I am also going to talk about uh, the new computer that I just got in the mail from System76. So first, this is the first computer that I had, which is a System76 Serval workstation. It's basically a desk desktop replacement. Um, I've had this one for about four years or so and just used it as a desktop replacement. Hooked up a couple of extra monitors to the uh, external ports on the back and it's worked great. Uh, the only problem that I had with it is being here in Texas, uh, the fans are constantly on and so it could easily boost the temperature in my home office by about three degrees. <laughs> and here in August, that can make a difference between an 80 degree room and an 83, 84, 85 degree room, especially in the afternoon. So good computer, really like it, going to keep it around for a long time. Um, it's just too hot in the summer. Shout out to Briani Faith. Uh, she produces some very good music for programming or just general work too if you're into cyber trance or just kind of like some EDM type stuff um, I do recommend her YouTube channel so this is the rest of the setup uh, I've got my vertical monitor for um, programming uh, I actually just bought that yesterday um, got my main monitor and then another monitor so I've got three monitors uh, uh, so over here, I have a USB hub, it has a YubiKey two-factor authentication device on it, um, and so that is uh, a hardware device that I use for two-factor authentication so that I don't have to worry about um, SMS hijacking or any of those other issues that happens when you have a cell phone. Got my Bose. Um, active noise canceling headphones very important when you're working from home uh, have a way to having a way to uh, drown out the noise of the nearby residents and your kids and stuff like that um, keyboard it's a DOS keyboard it's their newest one um, it's the version 5 I believe and so this one what's special about this is that it's a backlit keyboard um, you can probably see that it's got the rainbow effect on it right now but uh, they have other ones. Um, I highly recommend them. They're out of Austin. Um, all of their keyboards use uh, cherry switches. If you're familiar with mechanical switches, those are really top end switches. They give you a, a good tactile feedback and it really does improve your typing speed. It may sound funny, but a tushy cushy <laughs> is. Uh, Highly recommended if you're going to be sitting in a chair for a long time. Uh, I bought this chair to replace my other one that was falling apart and uh, ended up actually starting to hurt my tailbone because of it doesn't have a reclining feature. So when I would lean back in it, my tailbone would really push into the cushion. And so having uh, some padding, extra padding in there really does make a difference. So one thing you may note is that this is not a traditional desk. Uh, this is actually a workbench that I got from Lowe's. And I like it because it's just about high enough that I can use it as a um, standing desk if I want, or I can use a chair to go with it. Uh, I happen to use an architect chair uh, because it does give you a little bit more elevation on it. And so it works very well with this type of desk and you can see that as a workbench it has a lot more room than you would get with uh, comparable office furniture and it's quite a bit cheaper because it's not office furniture so this is actually the main thing that I wanted to talk about uh, in today's video is my new uh, Thelio computer from System76 they are not sponsoring this video this was a, a personal purchase and I just want to talk about it because it ties into the IT video series where we're talking about computer hardware. I'm going to take the case off and kind of point out some of those things that you might have seen discussed in the other videos. We'll actually see how a current generation computer utilizes those uh, components. 
Uh, one thing that I want to point out with this computer is you have a variety of colors that you can get with the Thelios. I chose the Neptune blue, but they've got Mars red, they've got black, they've got uh, traditional walnut colors and things like that, um, but they are all handmade uh, in Colorado. Uh, they're designed in Colorado, they're made in Colorado. It's a very good company. I've been using them for years. Um, they do make Linux computers, but the components are also usable for Windows too, um, which is good if you're into gaming or anything like that. But because they are Linux computers, and that's pretty much all they do, uh, the hardware is guaranteed to work with Linux, and the company is now starting to custom make, as you can see in this tower, their own computers rather than taking third-party uh, hardware and making Linux work with that. They're going the whole turnkey system to make hardware and software that all works together. Uh, before we open this case up, I just want to show you the back real quick. Um, so it does have a number of USB ports. The red ones are uh, provide continuous power so you can use them for charging devices and stuff like that while the computer is turned off. And it also has the uh, traditional blue ones. The video that you see right here, these are video outputs, um, two HDMI's and a display port. Those come from the uh, chip on the motherboard and then there is also a video card um, that you can buy that provides additional uh, outlets. This happens to be two display ports and a single HDMI and the power supply is down here. Audio out and Ethernet and some more USBs. And just a cool little design on the uh, on the uh, grill fan for the CPU output. So this is the computer with the case taken off. Um, we'll start up at the top. So there is the location to add additional two and a half inch serial ATA or SATA um, hard drives. Uh, I happen to have a solid state in here and then two spinning platters that I've had for a number of years. They're good enough to hold some document files and things like that, but I would not use them for holding applications or anything like that. That would all go on the solid state drive, which is actually going to end up being a Windows drive uh, so I can use uh, a bunch of my Steam games and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, looking down right here, uh, we have the memory sticks. shot so 32 gigs of RAM in this computer um, that's mostly just because of what I'm doing at work uh, I can easily use half of that uh, just by spinning up a couple of virtual machines this big fan you see right here is the CPU fan and you can see the heat pipes that go from the CPU to the uh, cooler are right here now, something that's neat about how System76 designed their computers is you have this huge fan down here, which is unusual uh, in a vendor's manufacturer's system. Usually they use smaller fans, but they did some thermal engineering and came up with a system that allows the air to use convection current. So basically the cool air gets sucked up from the bottom, gets warmed up by the components, and then is ejected out the back here at the CPU vent. For this particular model, um, it doesn't run the fans like at all unless you're doing some heavy comp uh, compilation of code, um, some really big uh, computer games, things like that. Otherwise, the convection currents work just well to keep this thing cool enough and if you have this thing running like all the time um, the top of the computer case itself kind of acts like a heat sink it gets much warmer than the rest of the system uh, because all of the heat is just going straight up to that and being um, conducted into the air but only if you are doing some heavy computational work will the fans turn on otherwise it's pure convection currents in the air so if you want a quiet system this is probably one of the higher end uh, s 
low sound systems to to get. So moving on, um, CPU's hiding under here. You can kind of sort of see the uh, heat sink fins themselves. Oh, we've got some good cable management. Um, there's an extra port you might be able to see for USB 3 um, if you need to add some extra external ports from there. This is a heat sink that is covering the um, solid state drive, the M2 uh, NVMM hard drives, uh, basically the chewing gum stick uh, hard drives that you see now. And there's some extra ports that you can see on the heart, uh, sorry, on the motherboard itself. We have our video card here, um, takes up the entire single PCI slot that's on this particular motherboard. And then down here is the power supply. This is a little bit different because you, it used to be that the power supply was on top and was pulling air into the computer and then ejecting it out the back. This design, because of how System76 has done it, um, it doesn't have to do anything in terms of cooling the system. All it's going to do is just cool itself using the vent back here. And this big fan is just going to draw up whatever cool air from the bottom, warms it up through the power supply, the video card, your memory, and then gets sucked up by your CPU fan and then you eject it out the back. But like I said, that only happens on initial startup and if you're doing anything that's heavily computational. This is the other side of the computer. You can see uh, right there are two um, antennas, one for Bluetooth, one for Wi-Fi. So they are actually um, on the case itself, the wood part actually has a cutout uh, in the metal so that the wood does not, um, or sorry, so the steel of the case does not block any of the antenna so that they can receive all of the RF signals. So it's actually just going straight through the wood. Other than that, you can see the cable management that they've used. A nice feature that I really like is up here you can see there's some screws and then more position for screws and so these screws are actually what you see here on holding the hard drives in there's a little oops plug right here that just holds the screws in place you slide them out from the top and then they're ready to use. Um, they actually have a little rubber uh, gasket, not, not quite an O-ring, but anyways, I don't know how well you can see, but there's two um, ridges on it with a center line groove. That groove is what actually sits in the uh, slot right here. And so it basically acts as a little rubber bumper for your hard drives. The hard drives themselves just slide into the SATA slot down at the bottom and then the screws are on the sides and just all they do is act as a container for the hard drive. There's no actually screwing, screwing the hard drives into the system like you used to have to do. And so that's it for uh, the computer, all of the computer hard, uh, hardware that we saw. Um, real quick, here is a vi video of my recording studio if you're ever interested. It's actually a closet. It's literally a storage closet. Got the anti-echo padding up there. Have the high-end Yeti uh, microphone. And that's it. I just record my videos on that and then I edit them out here. So I hope you enjoyed um, this video. Um, just kind of showing you how my home office works, uh, how it's set up. Um, but the main feature is really just talking about the System76 computer because I do get some questions from people about, hey, do I need a desktop? Do I need a laptop to be a programmer? Uh, what's the best type of computer to buy? Um, personally, I, I'm a 76 system 76 fan 
It is something that I have been using for years, ever since I really got into Linux. Um, lifetime tech support um, for both hardware and software. If you have any questions about using Linux or anything like that, they're very helpful in trying to get you the answer. Um, and I have no complaints with them. So, like I said, this is not a paid for advertisement for them. This is just my own personal recommendation and demonstration of hardware components that we talked about in the IT series, as well as showing you what a common programmer's environment looks like. You'll probably see other pictures online of people's environments. I've seen people with up to six monitors in their house. They're stacked on top of each other. That's a little bit much. Three is probably the limit, especially as big as my monitors are. Um, but quite honestly, if you have less than two, you're not being as productive as you could be. Get two, even if you have a laptop, get an external monitor to hook up to it. It does make a world of difference. So until next time, uh, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, concerns, comments, suggestions, anything like that, let us know. Uh, until next time, have fun, keep learning, and enjoy yourself. Life is short. Bye.